Welcome to my channel. My name is Matthias. Today we're going to talk about X Factor issue number four, written by Bob Layton. And this standalone issue really packs a punch. We have the first appearance of Frenzy. The team goes on a mission and has to deal with the situation that uh, it's pretty interesting. Like they, they're sort of like caught off guard there. And also we sort of get the build up to the first appearance of Apocalypse, a really major character to not only the X-Men side of the Marvel Universe, to the Marvel Universe in general. So without further ado, let's get into this. So in the first couple pages of the story, we have the exterminators stopping Tower from kidnapping Artie, who's under the protection of X-Factor. But the thing is, Tower and Frenzy have both been contracted by Apocalypse to rescue mutants from X-Factor because they're perceived to be mutant hunters. Apocalypse has no idea that they're actually rescuing these mutants and that they themselves are mutants and X-Factor and Exterminators are one and the same. So we get this really awesome dynamic. So we get this first battle, they stop Tower, he's able to get away. And we get to see Frenzy for the first time telling Tower's like, look, you've been contracted, you didn't go through with what you had to do, you're a complete failure, now I have to get my hands dirty. So as the story progresses, we have Rusty Collins, he's trying to learn how to use his uh, flame-based powers. Jean Grey is pushing him way too hard. He's, he's sort of like buckling under the pressure. And X-Factor actually get called to this mission to this boarding school where um, this the director of the boarding school says, hey, look, we have a kid. He seems to be a mutant. And can you please deal with him? So all of X-Factor go to confront this kid. And this kid actually tells, it's very well written. It sort of got me super off guard that the kid comes clean. He's like, he's not a mutant. He was using microphones and tapping phones and stuff like that to actually simulate that he was able to read his um, his classmates' minds because they were really giving him a lot of shit. He was really being bullied all the time. So simulating to be a mutant sort of scared him off and they just left him alone. And it's really sad. Like The kid has like a total breakdown. He's like, man, they used to bully me all the time. I just can't deal with it. And I, I said I was just a horrible mutant. They left me alone. It's it's actually really well done. It's only three pages. But again, it was like sort of a really interesting and different thing that this writer tried to do with the story. And plausible within the context of the idea of X Factor that they're going to get these fake bogus calls and go out on missions thinking they're going to go after a mutant and it's something totally different. So Rusty Collins actually decides to run away. He just can't deal with the whole situation with X-Factor anymore. And he ends up in this really bad part of town. He almost gets mugged and burns the guy's hands off. And um, he actually gets confronted by Frenzy who tells him, hey, thank you for saving me the time from saving you from X-Factor, those evil mutant hunters. And you're going to have to come with me. My master's really interested in you. And Rusty's like, no way. I'm not going with you. And Rusty's just really worried that he doesn't want to blow X-Factor's cover. So he tries to get get away. He's, he actually sets Frenzy on fire. And obviously, X-Factor are able to find him. They jump in. They rescue Rusty Collins. We actually get a pretty cool battle between X-Factor and Frenzy. Frenzy doesn't stand a chance fighting against X-Factor X on her own. But I really love the setup of who's this, uh, who's the one behind uh, contracting Frenzy and Tower. Obviously, again, it's Apocalypse. <laughs> Sorry if I spoiled that. But this run in general, the, the first 12 issues is freaking awesome. They introduced so many cool characters during this run. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.